In this video, I'm going to show you how to implement Facebook login and logout in our um, Swift mobile application. And we have just installed Facebook SDK and uh, configured our Xcode project. So it's it's working. Uh, let's go back to our um, installation instructions and simply continue. So I'm under developersfacebook.com. Uh, uh, we have just installed our app. If I scroll down, the next steps, I can implement share messages or work on a login, for example. So I'll click on a login button here and it opens uh, a new page with instructions how to implement Facebook login. And the prerequisites are for it libraries core kit, Facebook login kit. And uh, we have already um, downloaded and installed this ones. So we can uh, scroll down and um, read those instructions. Um, there are a couple of ways we can uh, create a login and logout button. One of the ways is to um, add login button uh, programmatically, instantiate um, Facebook SDK login button uh, class, and then add it as a sub view. Or we can use um, our, our um, main storyboard and create, uh, use um, user interface designer to create uh, a button or actually we need to create a view and then uh, provide a custom class for that view fbsdk login button instead of ui view so let's go back to our xcode project and simply uh, create a couple of view controllers and uh, create a login button okay so i'll switch to main storyboard i have here only one view controller created so that will be my uh, let's say login view controller i will uh, resize it to four inch and uh, let me embed it into on um, navigation controller so i'll go to editor embed in navigation controller I'll quickly resize it to four inch as well and um, i will uh, select navigation item and we'll give it the title login view like this so for this login view uh, we will uh, um, Facebook suggests that we need to uh, look for we need to add another sub view here so I will look for a view uh, where is it UI view and I will give it a different background color so I can clearly see it like this I'll resize it make it smaller okay and this will be our um, login button so now when um, a view is selected I can switch to identity inspector and provide it uh, a different custom class so let's go back to our Facebook and have a look what the custom class should be. The custom class should be FB SDK login button. So I will start typing here FB SDK uh, login button. And uh, there is one more thing we need to do with this button, and it is override point for customization after application launch. And we need to do it in uh, application did finish launching with options in our app delegate. So I will copy FBS um, SDK uh, login button string and I'll go to uh, my app delegate. Uh, app delegate here and application did finish launching with option functions. And before return statement, I will call uh, class for coder. Okay, so uh, this is um, it. Let's go back to our um, view controller and select login view controller and open it in assistant editor uh, now for our um, uh, view controller for our login button to work our view controller needs to conform uh, to a protocol and that protocol is called uh, fb uh, sdk login login button delegate here we go. Um, so uh, this protocol contains a couple of functions 
I'm sorry, uh, if I hold command button on my keyboard and then click on the protocol name, um, it will take its um, definition here and it has a couple of functions that we need to override for this protocol um, to work. So I will copy these two functions. One of them is login button um, did complete with the result and the other one is login button did log out. And I will um, paste them into my view controller then uh, delete these comments. I don't need them. And I need to provide uh, implementation for each function. But for these functions uh, to be called, uh, our um, login button, uh, we, there's a couple of more things we need to do to our lo login button. So the first thing we will create an outlet for it. And I will call it um, login button. And uh, now when we have this outlet, uh, we will need to provide a delegate which will point to self. And this is actually a good place um, to provide uh, permissions. When login button is stopped, uh, we request permission for Facebook to uh, grant us access to users, uh, for example, profile, email, or list of friends. So here is the time we can um, uh, type a uh, login button and then for example, um, give us permissions, read permissions to um, users public profile and a user's email address and a user's user uh, friends um, list. Okay, so uh, we have our login button. Uh, we've created, um, uh, we've made our view controller to conform to a login button delegate. Uh, protocol and we've set the delegate to self and we requested certain permission. Now we can uh, work with these uh, two uh, functions. Well, when user taps on logout button, uh, I mean, when user logs out, we can simply um, print something like um, uh, user is logged out. Uh, okay, but um, now when user taps on login button, this is login view, and when user taps on login button, we can perform user login and then take user to a log, uh, to a protected page actually. But we don't have protected page set up, yes. yes. So let's quickly uh, set up a protected page so we can take user um, to that page. And uh, in my objects library, I need to look for a UI view controller and it's, um, it's here at the top, so I'll drag and drop it here. That will be my protected page. So I will uh, select this page and I will embed it into a navigation controller. I'll quickly resize it to um, four inch. Okay, so that will be my protected page and I'll select navigation item and I will give it uh, a title protected page. And our protected page will have uh, a button and we will create a custom button that will be uh, a logout button. We could actually use the same approach uh, with login page. We could create a Facebook logout button, but I'll, I want to show you how to create a custom button, um, a simple button um, that you can actually later on customize even further. So that will be a logout logout button and for protected page of course we've created uh, an in user interface but now we need to create a custom class so i will go to my uh, project and then create new file and then ios source cocoa touch class next and uh, here uh, for the class name i will um, choose protected page uh, view controller subclass of view controller language swift uh, create okay so my protected page view controller is created and i can go back to main storyboard select protected page view controller and then switch to identity inspector and under custom class i will type protected page view controller and i will reuse this value class name for identity storyboard ID. And while we are here at the identity storyboard ID, 
let's provide uh, the, uh, the storyboard ID for the login view as well. So I'll select login view and its custom classes view controller. And I will um, provide identity storyboard just the same for this view controller as well. So we have login view and protected page. So let's go back to login view and implement the um, uh, business logic for our uh, login uh, button. Uh, okay, so when this when login button is um, when this function is triggered, it's uh, actually the time when uh, Facebook returned as a result or an error. And if an error took place, we can simply display an alert message. Or uh, for the uh, to make this video short, we'll simply print out uh, a description of that error. And it could be anything like um, request timeout, uh, for example. Um, any error that took place during the uh, communication with Facebook. So and um, if so, I'll um, do. If uh, error is not nil, then we can. Um, print line print out and that will be error object and we can print out localized description of this error message and then we will return we do not want to continue if there is an error we'll just display a message and return but uh, if um, there if there was no error most probably the result is successful and this result will contain um, very important piece of information like user token. So we can check if user token exists, then user is successfully logged in and we can navigate user to a protected page. So I will use if let user token equals um, result token. And uh, this will already mean that user is logged in. So we will uh, get a user access token here. And we'll create a new variable, we'll call it token, and that variable will be of a special type FB SDK access token. Yes. And um, we'll um, get it, um, we'll get a token from a result. Okay, now when we have access token, we can actually print um, print it and just, just for us to preview. So we can uh, do something like this. Um, we can read from the token or we can actually uh, go all the way like this FB uh, the current uh, access token and then uh, we can call uh, token string okay well, this is another way how we can read uh, a user's token and we can actually read a user's ID as well from this uh, object so um, we can do user ID is equal, um, like let's capitalize it. I think Facebook uses capitalized ID. And uh, here we can say um, user ID. So we get a uh, current access token and from that we instruct uh, user ID. Okay, uh, so um, that um, should work. Uh, but um, we're not done yet. Um, now, when we know that user is logged in, we need to take user to a protected page. So let's create a variable. Um, I'll create a protected page, and that will be um, an instance of self. We'll need to instantiate a view controller from storyboard with identifier, which is a protected page view controller. So go and pick up the uh, storyboard ID or identifier for that protected page. So I'll select view controller, open right side panel, and copy uh, storyboard identity ID from here. Now go back to login view uh, and provide this uh, identifier here. Now cast it to protected uh, page view controller and we are almost done. Now when we have protected page view control instantiated, we need to wrap it into navigation controller. So I will uh, do protected page navigation controller equals and I will create a new UI navigation controller with the uh, root view controller which is um, protected page. Okay. 
Now we have protected page wrapped into navigation controller and we can um, present user with this protected page, but we will not do push or we will not present that view controller modally. We will replace uh, Windows current or Windows root view controller with the protected page. And for that, I need to access app delegate. And um, to access app delegate, we can do a uh, UI application, shared application delegate as um, app delegate, like this. And now when we have a reference to app delegate, we can uh, access window and from window we can access root view controller and now we can assign windows root view controller our protected page um, navigation controller so that should work let's quickly uh, run it and see if it actually works okay my application is up and running i have the login button um, uh, displayed I will tap on login with Facebook and present it with the uh, window of uh, which asks uh, photo app application uh, will receive the following information user friend list email address and my profile which is okay just what I wanted tap on okay and I'm taken to a protected page very good it's working and let's look at the console uh, I see my access token is displayed here and I see user ID, my Facebook user ID is displayed. Very good. So um, uh, and now let's go to um, protected page and let's implement, um, let's implement the logout functionality. Uh, so, uh, well, by the way, uh, one more thing. If I run, if I stop this application and run it now again, this Facebook login button will now turn into logout button. So this is how native Facebook logout button looked, uh, looks. And um, technically, if I uh, tap on it, it will uh, request to, uh, it will confirm if I want to log out and then a uh, log user out of the application. So one button works as login and the same button works as logout button. So it's pretty cool. But um, we have protected page, which is a completely different design. And we want our custom logout button to work as well. So let's go to a protected page and implement the um, logout button. Uh, OK, so I will uh, switch to um, I will switch to um, protected page view controller. Now it's open and I'll create uh, an outlet, which is going to be a connection type action and uh, that I will call it um, logout button tapped. When user taps on uh, logout button, this function now will be called. And um, before we can uh, start working with Facebook, we need to import a couple of Facebook's libraries. And one of them, uh, Facebook SDK login kit. And the other one is uh, import Facebook SDK core kit. Uh, core kit. Um, okay, now to um, work with login and logout, um, we need um, to reference Facebook's uh, login manager. And I'll create a new variable. I'll call it uh, login manager. Manager equals Facebook uh, SDK login uh, login manager. Okay, now when I have a reference to a login manager, I can actually call its function, uh, which is called login manager log out. So uh, when this function is called, um, user will be logged out, user session will be killed and I can take user to uh, a login page. And I will um, use the same approach. I will go to login view controller. I will copy this um, code that I've prepared 
for um, taking user to a protected page and I'll simply reuse it here. But this time it's going to be a login page and I'm going to instantiate view controller with identifier. Let's look up what's the storyboard ID for our uh, login view controller and it's called view controller. So I'll copy it. Now I'll go back to my protected page and um, just give myself a little more space. I'll provide this ID here. Login page, instantiate view controller with identifier, view controller as view controller. Now it's going to be a login page navigate navigation controller uh, with root view controller login page. And uh, we access reference app delegate. And now our app delegate is going to be referencing, I mean, our uh, window root view controller will be, will be replaced with the login page uh, navigation controller. Uh, okay, so that uh, should work. So let's run this example and see if it actually works. Okay, my application is up and running. I'm logged in, but I'm still at uh, the login view. So let me log out. Um, okay, so uh, let's assume we just started. Let's close this application, run it again. So we start our app and we're logged out. We're invited to log in. I tap on login button. Okay. And I'm taken to a protected page right away. And now if I tap on log out button, I'm logged out and I'm taken to a login view. So our business logic is working. So let me type login, tap on login again. I'm taken to um, confirmation page. Okay. And now I'm taken to a protected page. There are a few more things you can do. For example, um, the login and logout buttons work now uh, very good. But uh, now if we, for example, um, stop application, and run it again, uh, it will um, launch with the login view. And it happens because uh, our login view controller or our login view is initial view controller. Our application will always be launching with the login view. So um, to make our application launch with the um, uh, protected page in case when user is logged in, uh, we can uh, override this behavior in the login view controller. So if we open um, the login view here, so uh, here in our view did load, uh, we checked if um, there is an access token, then user is logged in. But if there is no access token, user is not logged, uh, logged in. So I can copy this code out, I mean, cut it out of this um, view and put it into override view will appear and I will um, super view will appear animated now here and if I paste it here so if user is uh, if user token is not nil then I'm just uh, will be here also if if user token is not nil then I want to take user to a protected page right just before this view will appear. And uh, I do have code that takes user to a protected page here. I can either copy it from here. I can create a custom function, which I can call from both of these places and paste it here. So now uh, when the view is about to appear, I check for access token. And if it's not new, I know user is locked in and I'm taking them directly to a protected page. So let's uh, run this code again and see how it works. Okay, I application started and it started directly um, with the protected page. Our, it doesn't start anymore with login view. So let's uh, log out, stop it, run. So now it should start with the login view because we're logged out. Very good, it works. Now I tap on login view takes me to confirmation page and now a protected page. I terminate application. I start it again. 
and here we go it starts with protected page because uh, our session is active and we are logged in and uh, this is it for this video um, and uh, we can uh, we can continue